What's going on, my guys? It is Wednesday, the 17th of May, and yes, I'm starting off this video a little bit differently. It is almost one o'clock. It is extremely dark and cold out here. And uh, your boy is having to stay awake for as long as possible to prepare my brain for the coming night shift tomorrow. Uh, yes, this is this is the way it has to be, I suppose. I have to um, sort of re recalibrate my brain now that I'm getting back into work. So yes, this is the front of the lake with these lovely two light posts that I've always noticed from the indoor windows as I'm cleaning inside. Uh, yeah, you can be. It's kind of like a straight line straight out to the lake, and I think these two light posts are really cool. Very, very nasu. Anyways, if you're wondering what those earlier shots were, the boathouse over there looks ultra freaking spooky tonight because of the smog in the air from the wildfires. So the the lone light of the boathouse is peeking out over the lake and it looks super dramatic. It's kind of hard to capture on camera as I've found, but I thought I'd take a video of it. Anyways. Right then, guys, um, yeah, it's very late at night, and I must stay awake longer. I am feeling quite energized. A bonus of these night shifts and having to recalibrate my brain is that I can indulge in video games to try and stay awake for as long as possible, so that's pretty fun. I'm gonna go back and play a little Destiny, one of my favorite games, and uh, yeah, it should be pretty enjoyable evening. A pretty enjoyable evening. Uh, yeah, so... I'm literally just probably going to be working for like the next six days, so I can't imagine that there's going to be much content going on, but in any case, guys, I will see you in whatever the next video may be. Bye. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, the 20th of May, and it really feels like summer has sprung. Spring has sprung. What does summer do? If spring sprungs, then summer... I don't... I don't know. <sighs> the night shifts continue to drag on, and it is a tough time. I feel quite alright right now, though. Like, normally I feel like absolute death when I walk out of the place at 8.30, but I feel... I feel not too bad today. Um, I have two more days, Saturday and Sunday. Nights, days... What is time but a human concept? I don't know. Um, yeah, so two more two more shifts and then I get some time off. And it's gonna be sick. Um, yeah, guys, I'm, uh, I'm gonna just stop talking and go to bed. Oh yeah, the, uh, the lake is thoroughly thawed. I saw the lake early this morning as the sun was rising. And uh, I didn't actually, I've been taking a photo of the lake every day just this little like photo diary of the lake and um yeah the one today I didn't do it yesterday and then I wake up this or I mean I was already awake I have a look at the lake this morning and it's there's hardly any eyes left at all it's pretty insane but anyways guys I'll maybe go for a walk down at the lake later for the time being I must sleep bye uh -uh. Greetings from my little rest spot outside the front of the hotel. I have been put in the same section uh, tonight, uh, the lower lobby section. Uh, I would have liked to have been in a different section for something a bit different, but there you go. Oh, there goes my radio. Anyways, guys, the power of editing. Um, yeah, so it is about 4.30, the sun is rising in about half an hour, well... The very first bits of light happen in about half an hour. Ah, oh, man, these shifts are... These shifts are really tricky, dude. I'm getting used to it, I'm getting into the hang of it, but at the same time, it's just like... I would literally be rather doing anything else. I don't even know if the words coming out of my mouth right now are correct. I'm so tired. Mm, anyways, uh, tomorrow... Today, rather... It is, it's Sunday now. There's a little campfire event on. Uh, there are various little events and activities hosted by a committee here. And it's all in the effort to get people to be social and stuff. And I am really keen to, you know, 
be social and chat with people because that's something I've been struggling with while I've been here, working all night, sleeping all day. Obviously, not a lot of time to interact with people and be social and try and make friends. So, yeah, uh, that's going to be cool later this evening because it is Sunday now. Mm, oh my god. Anyways, guys, I better get back to cleaning and vacuuming and mopping. <sighs> Talk to you all later. It is the 21st of May. It is Sunday. Uh... I actually don't feel that shit this morning. Like, normally when I leave at this time of day, I'm stumbling. I can feel that, you know, my brain isn't right. I can fully understand that I'm very tired. But today, I just, uh, I feel like I could just start the morning, you know? I just freaking stay awake and just bing, bang, boom. I know that's obviously not what's gonna happen, but I feel good. I feel all right. Anyways, uh, I have one more shift, then I have some days off. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Very, very good stuff. The mountains still looking very pretty, and the lake is almost thawed. Exciting times for when I finally have some free time. Yay! Talk to you all later. Well, sick dude. I was looking forward to this for days. It was my... One of my only chances to freaking... Okay, that's... Uh, that's, that's really cool, dude. That's really cool. So the campfire thing was postponed. Maybe it'll be on tomorrow instead. Very, very disappointing, but in any case, that would actually work better for me because I have tomorrow off, so that'll be cool. Uh, just going for a little bit of a walk before I start work. I I went to bed at 9, you know, after I finished, and I woke up at about 4.30, and I didn't have a nap in between 5 and 9 like I normally do, so we'll see how we go tonight. Uh, I guess I'll just have to have extra coffee. Anyways, the light is at the end of the tunnel, and I will have a day off soon, so I just have to get through this shift. <sighs> see you all tomorrow. I guess that's one thing about this job, I get to see sights that not a lot of people get to see. Like the morning mist rolling in over the lamps by the lake. Spooky. Oh well, back to work. It is Monday the 22nd of May. I really want to go to bed. And I will be able to do so relatively soon. Um, as you can see, it is extraordinarily foggy out today. This is really spooky. Half expecting a werewolf to come out of the mist and attack me. Goodness gracious. Looks really cool. Anyways, it's officially my day- well, it's my day off. Yeah, it's officially my day off because it's past midnight. <sighs> Night shift. <laughs> it confuses me so. Anyways, guys, um, yeah. Very spooky. Very misty. Neat. It is still the 22nd of May, my dudes. It is extraordinarily rainy and cold today. I have just slept for, that was one of the best sleeps I've had since I've been here. I feel so relaxed and rejuvenated, but the problem is that I'm not working tonight. So now I've slept 10 hours and I will need to find something to do this evening. Hmm. In any case, um, very nice to get a full rejuvenating sleep. Uh, normally I, you know, I finish night shift at 8.30, I go to bed at about 9ish after a shower, and then normally I wake up at like 4 in the afternoon, and you know, I get up, I do th a few things, I get dinner, and then I go back to bed for like 3 hours, wake up at 9, and then go to work at 10. But now I've slept a full 9 to 7, baby. Oh my god, it feels good. But also, you know, ha 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 ha, I have a day off, I didn't need to sleep that long. Classic. Classic. Anyways, guys, um, I'm just gonna freaking hang out today, and then tomorrow we're gonna go to Banff. And it's probably not gonna be all that exciting. Um, 
I do have a rough idea of maybe using something on my ambassador pass, but I'm mainly going for my credit card. <laughs> Your boy is going to be a responsible adult with a credit card. I am not going to use it, probably. Don't hold me to that. <laughs> um, the reason I decided to get a credit card is because the bank offered and was like, hey, would you want one? And I'm like, fuck it, sure. Um, uh, so having a credit card here in Canada is a good idea because reservations like for hotels and restaurants and kind of like other things like that, you need a credit card. So I figured it would just be good to have one. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's a bad idea. Maybe. No, I will not use it. I will be careful. I will be a responsible adult. Anyways, guys, um, I'm just going to hang out the rest of the evening, probably go to the bar and try to use my time wisely by drinking alcohol. Yeah, that's wisely, right? Yeah. All right. Talk to you all later. Bye. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, the 23rd of May. It is 6.30 in the morning. As a consequence of sleeping 10 hours and not setting my alarm after my night shift yesterday, I think it was yes. oh my god, whatever. As a consequence of sleeping all that time, I have spent the entire night mostly awake. Most of the entire night. <sighs> oh my gosh. Um... It is still cloudy and cold and rainy, but um, I'm going to try and make the most of my day now that I've decided to get out of bed at 6.30. So, whatever. Mm. This is the car park underneath the Greens building. So, the staff accommodation here is uh, segregated. When you first start here, you go to the Browns, which is a brown building, and that's, you know, for people who have just started. When you move up in the social ladder well not really when you've been here for about a year or more then you can uh petition to be at the greens which is slightly better dorms i think you can have single person dorms there as well and then further along from that when you're a manager here you can go to hector uh, which is another building sort of in that direction i of course haven't been around the greens building because i have no reason to have a look around here but they have quite an extensive car park down here i am down here in the car park because there is a boot camp one of the social events that has been set up by the social events committee it is a boot camp sort of training sort of physical exercise thing they said on the Facebook group that if it was raining that they would be meeting down here in the car park, but there is clearly fucking no one here. So, uh, rip me, I suppose. Uh, whatever. Anyways, um, I'm gonna try and get into Banff early at about 8 and, uh, just do my bank stuff and pretty much peace out immediately come back and sleep that is the plan for the day my dudes so uh, i'll talk to you all later oh i'm pretty sure that's hector oh doesn't it look fancy <laughs> uh yes obviously there are perks for having worked here for x amount of time so that's pretty cool and there's the filthy brown building oh my god Right, um, couldn't find the boot camp. I'm gonna go back to my dorm. It is super goddamn cold out here. <clears throat> Welcome back to Banff. Shout out to the nice lady at Starbucks who recommended me a brown sugar macchiato or some shit, I don't know. It's pretty nice. It is hotter than the surface of the sun though, so I need to uh, give it a moment. Uh, I'm walking towards the bank. It doesn't open until 10. Classic. I have to kill some time before then. But uh, yeah, nice little street down here, the clouds are out, and it's a fairly nice day. At least it's not raining. <sighs> well, howdy, partner. <laughs> okay, well, I have two hats now. This one is really cool, and I think it'll be good for hiking. Don't judge me. God, I'm so bad with my money. I really need to stop spending, but... <sighs> Whatever, I think it's cool, it's comfortable, I like it, whatever, whatever. Um, I'm still, still waiting for the bank to be open. 
Well, mister, the Banff adventure is over. That one was a lot less interesting than my last one, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta keep it simple, brother. I'm so sorry for the cowboy accent. Um, yeah, so I just decided to head home. I had an idea to maybe go to the Fairmont Banff Springs, but like... I spent $95 on this hat, like I needed to just leave, you know what I'm saying? Like, ooh! It's an expensive hat, but I think it's really sick, so whatever, dude, whatever. Um, yeah, just gonna go back to my dorm and have a nap, honestly. I am certainly making the most of my day off, for sure, dude. Whatever, it is what it is. It is Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> Yay! Guten Morgen, Minasan. There's a little bit of Japanese and German for you. It is the 24th Wednesday. It is 5.13 in the morning. Oh wow, the lake. Okay, all right. I've got a surprise for you, my dudes. Um, so yeah, I had a night shift on Monday. I foolishly didn't set my alarm on Monday morning. So I got home from the night shift at nine. I proceeded to sleep literally all day until about seven. And therefore, and thusly, my sleep schedule is absolutely decimated and I don't know what the fuck time it is right now. <sighs> my brain, my poor, poor brain. Um, I proceeded to not sleep at all Monday night. And uh, yesterday was Tuesday night, so also didn't sleep then. Uh, well, yeah, I slept intermittently last night, like I had about four hours here and there, and then I played video games, and I went back to bed, and then like, it's, it's, it's just a mess. It's an absolute mess in my brain right now, but it doesn't matter because the sun is about to rise on this glorious glacier-fed lake, and I'm going for a walk, and it's gonna be sick. All right, let's go. So, funny story as we're walking towards the sunrise. I'm Australian. I don't handle the cold very well. What ticks me off the most is having cold hands. When I went to New Zealand, it annoyed me so much. I hate having cold hands. It's really irritating. So in New Zealand, I bought a nice pair of merino wool gloves. I have proceeded to lose one of those gloves within a few weeks of being here. Ah, so I, I am resorting to these leather gloves that I had in Australia. These are my driving gloves. So in Australia, when it's 42 degrees outside and you get in your car, oh my God, who could have guessed? It's really hot. And the steering wheel, the steering wheel in my car at least, was made out of metal and I didn't have a steering wheel cover. So when it's really, really hot in Australia, I use these gloves to be able to handle my steering wheel without burning the skin off my hands. These gloves, however, are driving gloves. They are not winter warm gloves, and they are doing shit all for my fingers. Oh, God. Um, yeah, so that's really annoying. Uh, there are some really nice gloves in one of the retail stores in the Fairmont building behind me, but they were 169 nice dollars, and I am absolutely not spending that, even with the discount we get. That's insane. Okay. Um, anyways, sunrise update. It's still not right, risen. It, um, 5.30, it comes up over the mountain-ish. But yeah, the, the sun rises about five, but there's a mountain where in the direction that it's rising from. So there you go. Jesus, my camera work is shaky today. Anyways, guys, um, I'm just going to stop blathering for a bit and just enjoy this pristine morning. I'll talk to you all a little bit later. Uh, yes, I am going to make the conscious effort to stop talking so much and just enjoy this lovely morning. I am very tired and very frustrated by the fact that I can't sleep, but it is what it is and I will get over it. All right then, guys, I'll talk to you all a little bit later today. Okay, yeah, I know, I know, I said I would stop vlogging, but this is exciting. This is the furthest I've ever walked down this track, and it kind of looks like the lake just kind of ends. That's interesting. I mean, yeah, I guess the lake ends eventually. Oh, wow, the water is so much more turquoise out this way. 
Are you good, camera? I, I know it's like stunning natural beauty and all, but like, okay, Jesus Christ. Amateurs, look at this equipment that I'm working with. Let's go ultra wide, shall we? Ooh, yeah, that's nice. God damn. What a place to be. Warning, there's advertisements in the area. Oh no, they're going to try and sell me YouTube shorts. I don't know. Um, yeah, so this is the end, the edge, the edge of the lake. Uh, this is the beginning of a hiking trail called the Plain of Six Glaciers. Do you mean to tell me there are six glaciers? Or is that just the name of the track? I am confused. Uh, yeah, dude, the lake just, just kind of ends. That is wild. God damn. Well, I'm going to have a bit of a walk over there. And uh, then I'm going to start heading back. Get some breakfast and some coffee. My god. Yeah, the sun still hasn't come up over the mountain, which is crazy. I feel like the last time I was out here, the sun was out by now. It's close to 6 o'clock now. Weird. Weird. Anyways. Good god, man. Good god. Look at that. On this episode of Is This Mud Quicksand, find out after six. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Yeah, the lake just, uh, it just kind of ends. That is absolutely wild. Wow, you can see Le Chateau way off in the distance. Uh, no, you can't because my phone doesn't want to focus. Yes, there it is. Whatever. Damn, bro. Damn, damn, damn. Well, this was exciting. I'm glad I came out here. And hopefully I will sleep after this adventure. Goodness gracious me. Wow. <sighs> yeah, this hike has been really good to sort of clear my mind and get my thoughts all in order. Um. Well, yeah, I suppose one of the reasons I wasn't sleeping is just because I just have all these just thoughts just buzzing around in my head. I'm not anxious or worried about anything. I'm just thinking, you know, like, ah, uh, it is what it is. Um, anyways, it's going to take me a while to walk back. I'm going to get some breakfast. <laughs> I don't believe how bright the sun is, Jesus. Next time I do this, I need to bring my sunglasses with me. So yeah, guys, um, it's 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 all right here. I am a little bit disappointed by the fact that, you know, I work all night, I sleep all day, I miss out on a lot of things, but it just, I guess I just have to make the most of the days that I have off and I just have to not freaking sleep 10 hours the night before a night shift and completely destroy my sleep schedule. <sighs> Whatever. Anyways, guys, um, I will see you all in whatever the next video may be. Uh, I, I can't imagine I'm going to have much of an exciting life over the next few days. I start work tomorrow, and I'm probably going to be working for the next five days. It seems like I'm more often than not going to get five days on and three days off, so there you go. But anyways, guys, I will see you all the next time I have some days off, and I will have something exciting planned for then. Thank you for watching this video. Oh my god, the sun. Jesus, the sun is a deadly laser. All right, talk to you all later. Bye.